Yeah, any need for a clap, you think, or you'll, you'll have no problem. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, thank you for watching. Today I'm gonna cover some tips and tricks for recording audio for on-camera interviews. As you can see, I am standing on camera. I'm recording with a boom mic. I was just talking to my buddy Lincoln and he said I should do a video about this. So here we are. Um, and he's out helping me shoot. That's why you can see more of my body this time. I'll show you. See, he's right here. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, thanks Lincoln. Yeah. A lot of these tips are gonna be similar to my VO video. Make sure you record with good levels. Make sure, you know, try to get your peaks around minus six. Watch your room noise. If you're on location, it's gonna be a little bit harder uh, to change that. If you have control of your air conditioning or your HVAC or whatever it is, uh, that's awesome. Try to get it as quiet as possible. Make sure all of your assistants are quiet and not talking, um, cause that does pick up very easily, especially if you're relying on a boom mic. Then uh, you'll definitely want to um, know where your exterior noise is coming from and try to aim your mic away from that. Most boom mics, usually they're a cardioid type pattern, so it does reject audio behind it. So if you're recording a subject, you want it to be head on, try to point them so you can point your mic away from the noise. Uh, then, let's see, mic placement obviously is what we were just talking about. That's key. Um, take the time to experiment. Uh, if your air conditioning noise is coming from the ceiling, you definitely want to put your mic up high, point it down. And if it's coming from the floor, you want to aim your mic up. Uh, I like to point mics at like the chin or the neck, because uh, I like the low rumble that comes from the throat when we're talking really specifically. If you point it directly at the mouse, the mouth, you might get a lot of lip noise and it sounds gross. Uh, it's just not my favorite sound in the world. So. You'll definitely want to change that if you can. Aim it at the chin, that's kind of where I like. Sometimes you can aim it at the nose or like the forehead. Uh, it just doesn't sound as rich, I've found, when it push comes to shove. What do you do though if it's more than one person? Then I would try to place the mic somewhere in the middle. A lot of times I see uh, videographers point the mic directly down in the middle, so straight down. I would recommend kind of angling it towards them. So this is me hand gestures. Uh, instead of micing it like straight down like this, mic it a little bit more like this between the subjects uh, and use a, a microphone with a wider cardioid pattern so that it can pick up both of their voices. Uh, uh, and ME66, I believe it is, is a great option. It has a wider cardioid. It's a cheaper mic. Uh, the power pack has multiple capsules. I've just found it to be useful and it's pretty rich like warm sound, even if with like an H4N. So recommend that. Lastly, if you are using labs, uh, just watch your wireless signal. Uh, make sure you're scanning in every new location uh, to find those clean sounds. They will change, there will be issues. So if you want that high quality sound, especially if you're on a tight budget, that's an easy thing to check every time. And yeah, that's about it. Sometimes the weather interferes, uh, and then it, you can get boosters if you have to be far away. So make sure those antennas are screwed on tight. But other than that, recording on-camera interviews, there's nothing much. If you're outside, uh, use some sort of wind protection on your microphone. Um, if you have a lab and you can put a little one on there too, that helps. But hope those help. Thank you, Lincoln, for recording this and making me look way more awesome. So uh, let me know if there's anything else you wanna learn. Uh, any questions you have, if you think I'm dead wrong, uh, let me know and we'll talk more soon. Thanks so much.